Am I the asshole? For using the home office room for gaming when girlfriend used it for two days. We live in an apartment with two bedrooms. The big one we sleep in, the small one we use as an office gaming room. I have a huge desktop computer which I use both for home office once a week, while she hooks up her work laptop to the screens and uses it for home office 2-3x a week. The home office has one big desktop computer. This is my own personal computer I've bought with my own money. I use it for work and for gaming. She has her own work laptops. She does not use my desktop computer. She connects her work laptops to one of the monitors in there. Monday she worked there for home office. Tuesday I used it for home office, as well as some gaming in the evening. Wednesday, again she used it for home office while I went to the office. She said she also wanted to use it in the evening to do more work, to which I said I want to use it to game tonight for a couple hours. Mind you, the past three weeks I've spent all my time moving us into this house, while she's been down due to medical issues. Finally I have a little bit of free time again and I haven't been able to do any gaming for at least 1,5 months. Here's how I see it we both had something we wanted to do. She wanted to do some extra work in the evening. I wanted to do some gaming for 1-2 hours. How could we best reach that goal for both of us where both of us get what we want? She has a laptop, very easy to just take that to the living room bedroom and I could get her monitor for her so she could work anywhere she wants. For me to unplug the desktop, and other accessories keyboard, mouse, headset would be a lot of hassle, compared to the little amount of work needed to set up her laptop literally anywhere in the apartment. Keep in mind, moving into this place has drastically increased the standard of our living situation, as we used to live in a tiny one-room apartment 310 square feet for a year, and we both quite enjoy having an office room. Usually she's the one that uses the room the most during the week due to home office, while I tend to use it for gaming. It's been a little more gaming than usual for me lately as I haven't been able to do it at all for the past months due to life stresses. I ended up using it, and she got very angry with me saying I'm a selfish asshole, even though she was home in the room all day, and I ended up playing for 1,5 hours. Am I the asshole? Edit just wanted to add something the work she wanted to do was to finish up a report that had to be done for the next day, she said it was important. I still don't see why it has to be done specifically in the office room when it can be done anywhere with a laptop. X200B Edit 2 thanks for everyone replying. It seems I am the asshole and I was unempathetic towards my girlfriend. I will be working on that and be more understand to her needs in the future and make a plan so that we can both be happy. I am the asshole in this situation. Nah, you have one room, somebody has to compromise. It's not apparent from this situation alone if it was unfair to either of you. On one hand, it's work for her so you could argue it takes priority. On the other hand, you need to game in that room while she can work in another room with the desktop. Not the asshole you literally had a solution to the problem by offering to set her up a monitor in another room. You could make the living room space a second office or gaming setup space of having that is important to both of you. She might find working in a smaller space is better for her concentration. And ultimately, work and providing for your combined household is more important than gaming. This comes from someone who is also a gamer and a musician who's given up his office gaming recording space for my wife's home craft work space. Not the asshole. At all. You had a reasonable solution to set her up anywhere else with a screen and her laptop. It was a reasonable win-win solution. Exactly what me and hubby would have happily done. I don't get all the white tears here. Honestly your logic was thoughtful and was a workable solution for everyone. You're the asshole, work comes first and you could just have waited for her to finish before starting your gaming. To avoid this in the future, maybe make a weekly schedule of who needs the room and at what hours. You're the asshole. You knew her report had to be done for the next day. 
that takes priority than your gaming which isn't time sensitive nor is it bringing in an income. To avoid this happening in the future perhaps come up with a schedule on who wants to use the room and when, so you're both happy and can prioritize properly. You're the asshole. For many people, the best place to finish a work report, is in a dedicated workspace. If I had a choice between office and couch I'd go office as it has limited distractions. Anywhere else is distracting. Let me know how you go when she's redundant due to not finishing work, but you're nailing Minecraft, clapping. Info why can't you game and she can work in the same room at the same time? Can you all fit another desk in there? Honestly, that would be the best case scenario. Unless you do online gaming and are loud she can't work with headphones. Let's look at this logically. If you get the office, you get to do what you want. She has a laptop so she can do her work anywhere she can sit it's literally called a laptop for that reason. If she gets the office, you can't do anything. Therefore, your way makes more sense from a logical standpoint. Not the asshole, and I'd cry everyone is saying otherwise when everyone wins by you getting the office for a few hours. I'd even go so far as to say nah if your girlfriend didn't get so angry about it. Info if you did some gaming in the evening on Tuesday, how is it that you haven't done any gaming in 1.5 months by Wednesday? Did she want to do more work? Or did she need to catch up because she's fallen behind because of her medical issues? A laptop is fine, but using it without a bigger screen slows you down majorly, if you need to keep several windows open on the screen. Soft you're the asshole. Not the asshole. It's your setup. She has a laptop and you even offered for her to take a monitor to use. You're the one who was willing to compromise. Laptops are portable for a reason. Not the asshole. Normally I would defer to work but the laptop has a screen and you offered to move the monitor so she could use it elsewhere. She needs to compromise. Not the asshole. Not the asshole she sucks at compromising. Unpopular opinion, but nah. I think your solution works fine, but I understand why your GF would be upset. Maybe you guys should get a second desk. So you can both use the room at the same time? Not the asshole, she has a laptop, and could use it anywhere. You have a desktop which is far less portable. Esh it sounds like she had a good workflow going and wanted to finish her important report that was due the next day but her reaction was a bit over the top. Personally, work is more important and I would have just waited till later that night or tomorrow to game, if you'd gone a month and a half another day wouldn't have killed you. Priorities aside, some tasks are just harder or more awkward to do on a laptop. And yes, I know you can't game on her laptop either. See all the previous posts about priorities. I'm gonna get so downvoted but not the asshole. I work from home every day and have a laptop and also a desktop so I know both fields. She could have finished her report elsewhere with the computer she always uses to do that and if she needed the monitor, installing a monitor is easier than moving a whole desktop. OP never prohibited his GF of working, she could have done it in another table. Honestly, I don't see why she couldn't use a different space in the house if a second monitor could have easily been set weird to me that an argument happened when a reasonable option was available. Did she give a reason why she absolutely had to use the room? I know everyone's saying you're the asshole, but I'm gonna go with not the asshole. That is your computer, no? She has her laptop and she can work on it elsewhere in the house. It sounds like you can both do gaming and work at the same time. Why not both? I don't think either of you are the assholes, just sounds like there needs to be a bit more communication. Maybe another desk in the home office? That way you can be together as well. Win win win. Hey do you all remember when healthy ergonomics was a thing? Not the asshole you said you only played an hour and a half. Why did this stop her from being able to do extra work? Sounds like her not doing any work is a her problem. But I would set up another desk with a monitor so there is never any issues going forward ASAP. You can play and she can work anytime. 
not the asshole. Voluntary overtime is what what she was doing and she can do it off the laptop. But since this sub is heavily populated by misandrists and you have the bad chromosome arrangement you're going to get crucified. Do not take the YT votes seriously, they have no value. I like how you say you haven't been able to game in over a month and then immediately describe how you've been gaming a lot lately. Not the asshole, mobility is the point of the laptop. Seems more like she's just staking her claim on the room. Info you bought all of the equipment for the office room with your own money? Nah. I can see her side and yours. Find a way so the dedicated home office space will be evenly shared. Just cause you have an immovable desktop shouldn't mean you get dips on that space. And just cause she is working and you're gaming shouldn't mean she gets dips on that space. Talk about this so you can share fairly. Not the asshole. Work is for work hours. If the work was so urgent the GF could have done it in any other room. And TBH all the you're the asshole s here are enough to make me doubt the sanity of all who chose it. If you can't even give not the asshole from such a clear cut situation as my GF wants to use equipment that I bought to do extra work at night, and I compromised by agreeing to set it up elsewhere but she doesn't want it I genuinely doubt you have the mental maturity to judge any other scenario in anyone's life. Not the asshole you offered a good solution for a temporary compromise and SHR acted entitled.